The Ape Man was a 1943 monster movie starring Bela Lugosi as a man who, after doing weird scientific research, has managed to transform himself into a half-man, half-ape. And along with his captive gorilla, well, actually a guy in a gorilla costume, he goes about trying to find a cure, believing that it's only going to be through using human spinal fluid, ew, injected into his back that he can find a cure. So, of course, this leads him and his gorilla friend into capturing people and using them for his diabolical research. And let's be honest, this was a pretty silly film, but it was also plenty of fun. For the gruesome-sounding nature of this, you know, particularly the spinal fluid bit, the film is totally tame, with the worst parts really being the, you know, apish Bela Lugosi sneaking around and grabbing unsuspecting people. And I have to give this credit. It's a fun, campy film, and the creepy, sulky music during some of the creepier scenes really adds to it. Uh, I love the initial reveal of Bela Lugosi as the ape man, and it's really interesting makeup. He looks maybe more like a hairy Mo Howard crossed with C. Everett Coop or something like that. But honestly, you know, you see him with this makeup on and you think that maybe with a strong enough Norelco shaver and maybe a generous regimen of corrective chiropractic, he'd probably be fine. But no, he wants to go about and completely revert normal again. And he does so by capturing people and, you know, stealing their spinal fluid. Uh, the actress Minerva Uricol, I think is her name, does a great job at being this creepy sister who just kind of lurks around the house and helps defend him. And it was also fun to see actor Wallace Ford and Louise Curie as the snooping reporters. Wallace Ford seems to be appearing in a lot of the films I've been watching lately. He was in a couple of the Mummy movies as well as most recently in Hitchcock's Shadow of a Doubt. And he does a great job here. He plays this kind of goofy yet relatable character, and he's just snooping around trying to find out what's going on with this ape man. So anyhow, The Ape Man was just a silly film, but it's plenty of fun. And it's in the public domain, so you can find it pretty much anywhere online, even on YouTube. And just a closing thought on this, the final scene is probably the single funniest fourth wall break I've seen in my entire life. And since this is in the public domain, I'm going to actually include this at the end of the video because frankly, it's just awesome. And it doesn't even really give any spoilers. I mean, you just got to check it out. And it's there's just nothing like hearing from the actual writer of the story himself, writing himself into the movie, looking right at the camera, and then telling you, the viewer, that the story was a screwy one. <laughs> I love it. You know, too many films these days could really use a fourth wall break like that. So if you're looking for just something, it's a short film, and it's cheesy, and it's fun, go check out The Ape Man. You know, I want to put you over my knee and paddle you good. Don't be a chump. Hey, what are you doing in my car? Who are you, anyway? Me? Oh, I'm the author of the story. Screwy idea, wasn't it? <laughs>